Warning! The following video is a parody to Nathaniel Bandy. All, please watch his videos too. Also, most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings, so don't burst like Valtriac, alright? This loading screen looks so boring. That could have looked way cooler. The menu looks like it has no excitement. Okay, so you can so you can customize your base colors and look and and, dif and differentiate their looks, but it's just so plain and awkward. It's like just basically just painting over other bays. Something about this just doesn't feel right to me. And don't even get me started on to get bays inside the game. My God! Is there any real reason for these prototype bays to exist? So what's the point of just editing the prototype Beyblades? Of all the skins Fafnir have, he doesn't have the epic dark green and white and black one. Like that was so much cool, man. As good, things are going to get worse, you actually have to ski in skins. You want that orange voucher? It's a Canada exclusive. Go, go look, good luck finding that one. Ah, so irritating. But guess what? After all this, there was no, you can, you, you can literally go on the Beyblade wiki and literally just scan QR codes and go crazy. That means there was no point in actually going to the store and getting Bays. You basically just wasted your money. But geez, Hasbro was obsessed with Valtriac. You wanna know why? So there's Valtriac, the prototype Bay. Tra 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 Valtriac V2. Valtriac V3. Strike Valtriac. And an Elite Valtriac. That is five Valtriacs in this game. And to top it off, Elite Valtriac doesn't have us any other skin. Out of all of my expectations, there is only 11 stadiums all together in this game. That disappoints me. Instead of your launcher to see where it lands, we have to press a ready button, and it's so precise when you have to press the dots. It's so irritating. It's just, it's just, I can't tell about this, about this game so much.